Hi everyone, my name's Little Herman. I was named after St. Herman of Alaska, and today I'm going to tell you his amazing story. Our story begins in the cold country of Russia. St. Herman, along with a few other monks, were chosen to become missionaries to Alaska. Now you gotta remember, before they had airplanes, it was really tough to travel. It took the monks almost an entire year to reach Alaska, but with God's help, they made it. The monks arrived to a place called Kodiak Island, where they met the native Aleuts, Russian fur traders, and the infamous Governor Baranov. The Aleut people weren't treated very well by the Russian fur traders. The Aleuts were paid only a few pennies, but were expected to work very long, hard hours. And sometimes, if the fur traders were angry at the Aleuts, they would beat them. St. Herman and his monk friends got angry at the way the Aleuts were being treated. St. Herman would write letters to Russia and even met with Governor Baranov to try to stop the mistreatment of the Aleuts. St. Herman became friends with many of the Aleuts. He earned their respect because he defended them when no one else would. St. Herman was a baker and often made cookies for the Aleut children. The cookies were delicious and the Aleut children loved him. They started calling him Appa, which means grandfather. Appa, Appa, do you have any more cookies? Over time, the monks who came with St. Herman started leaving Kodiak Island to travel to other places around Alaska to help spread the Orthodox faith. But the monks never returned. Many of them died in a shipwreck, and one of the monks, St. Juvenal, was martyred when he was trying to teach others about our Savior. Soon, St. Herman was the only Orthodox Christian monk left on the island. How do you manage to live alone in the forest? Don't you ever get lonesome? No, I never get lonesome. Because God is here. God is everywhere. The holy angels are here. And whom is better to talk to? People or angels? Most certainly angels. Governor Baranov started noticing that St. Herman was growing very popular among the Aleut people. He will make the Aleuts rebel against me. I need to put a stop to this. I know. I'll put him under house arrest. St. Herman was no longer allowed to hold services for the Aleuts, and his Aleut friends weren't allowed to visit him. St. Herman remained strong and faithful during this hard time. After one year of being under house arrest, Hiram Gideon from St. Petersburg came and helped restore order. St. Herman eventually moved to Spruce Island, where he befriended more Aleuts. The Aleuts loved hearing him tell stories about a baby born in Bethlehem who grew up, was killed, and rose from the dead. St. Herman helped convert many Aleuts to Christianity. The Aleuts saw that he actually practiced what he preached. He struggled to follow Christ's commandments and tried to become more like Christ every day. From this day, from this hour, from this very minute, let us strive to love God above all and fulfill His holy will. The Aleuts went through very difficult times. When an epidemic, that's a really bad sickness, swept over Alaska, St. Herman visited the sick, prayed with them when they were on their deathbeds, and comforted those who lost their loved ones. Because of the epidemic, many Aleuts became orphans. St. Herman helped feed and clothe the orphans, and even helped set up a school for the Aleuts. Once, the village was being threatened by a great big wave. He was holding an icon of the Theotokos and planted it in the sand. The great wave stopped in midair and started going backwards. The entire village was saved. News quickly spread throughout Alaska of the monk who lived on Spruce Island. Governor Baranov's son-in-law, Simeon, also heard of these stories. Hey there, Dad-in-law. I really want to meet this Father Herman. Ugh, I can't stand that monk. He's nothing but trouble. Even though Governor Baranov didn't like St. Herman, Simeon still wanted to meet him. As Simeon got to know St. Herman, he quickly realized that Governor Baranov was completely wrong about the saint. Hello, my name's Simeon. Simeon and St. Herman soon became friends. After Governor Baranov passed away, Simeon became the new governor and tried to help restore order to Alaska. Simeon later converted to Orthodoxy and became St. Herman's spiritual son. St. Herman converted thousands of Aleuts to the Orthodox faith. The story of his life spread quickly across the world of Orthodoxy, and he's one of the most beloved saints of America. Holy St. Herman of Alaska, pray for us.